Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Survival No Man's Land. So I've learned uh, a couple valuable lessons while plowing this new field. Is that this tractor only holds about three gallons of diesel. And the plow, I just literally came back from the store repairing it. And we just maybe made one lap of the field if, you know, just covering the stuff we missed. And the plow is already wearing out. So, um, it, this, for some reason, this plow, the uh, maintenance on it just goes to crap real fast. So, um, and I did find a part of a tree. So, I don't know if I should, I can't go much further this way. I think we're already at the I think we're already at, at our uh, our um, boundaries. I actually think we went a little over. Um, so I don't know if I should widen this a little bit. You know, I can just go around this little tree for now. Or I can cut it down and just try to plow over the stump. And just widen it a little bit to make it make the field a little bit bigger or uh, yeah because we got a little ways we can go up this hill a tiny bit and just go yeah let me just make it a little bit wider um, let me jump out and chop this tree down oops Oops. <laughs> Gotta cut half the tree down. Sometimes I noticed before is with these smaller trees that uh, the, tr the stumps will disappear when you plow over them. I don't know if they fix that or if that's something that still happens. Let's run this log over here with the other one. Or this tree. Um. But yeah, this uh, plow is a little, uh. A little cheap, I guess. Considering, like I said, it wears out real fast. I mean, I. I, I only have one. Actually, when I first noticed it was almost wore out, I had like 0.9 hours on the tractor. And I was out of fuel. It was flashing in the red. So I think I'm going to see if I can just get a fuel tank and put it over there in the yard somewhere. That way we don't have to, because the tank is so small, I don't have to run all the way over there every single time to uh, top off. And I also learned that I have to drive this tractor in manual because... That's the only way I can get it to go six mile an hour. See the maintenance on this plow? Like if I drop the plow off, the maintenance on the tractor is fine. But this plow just wears out. Like I said, I literally just went and repaired it for nine hundred dollars. this edge without uh, disturbing our our edge of the field 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of these type of plows. But it's what we gotta use for right now. Oh yeah, see there's the tree stump. And then we need I can't remember what that cedar how much that cedar was. But uh we're probably gonna have to Probably gonna have to take down a couple more trees just to buy the seed in cedar. We need to get a couple crops in the ground before it gets too late because I do have seasons on and precision farming and unfortunately we just cannot afford the Izaria yet unless I should take trees down and buy that before we do any planting that way we're not just wasting seed and fertilizer and plus then we can see what the field looks like there's just a bunch of stuff that we gotta buy and um, logging is the only thing that we have for now to make money well I guess that field will have to do for right this minute We can plow another one in later, but let's go ahead and just drop this off for now. We'll utilize this little space for the equipment at, at the moment. But I do want to switch. Yeah. I do want to switch the tractor back over to automatic. Um. And then when uh save it. When we need to plow again, we'll uh put it back to manual. Because automatic allows me to back up with you know with the uh brake. But the first thing that we need to do is because you can see we've already burnt through some fuel too. Let's uh let's look at containers. Oh yeah. Never mind. We might have to look at uh I don't have any download. I say those portable fuel tanks that we can just bring back that hold 2,000, 3,000 liters. All right. So for that, the cedar that we were looking at, it's gonna be, oh, that's pretty steep. This one's not too bad. Seven grand for 35 horsepower. Yeah, that might be better. It's three meters. That's three meters. Oh, but this one does seed and fertilizer. This one only does seed. So 13 grand versus 7,000 and then sorry looking for the sprayers 
Um, prayer. Yeah. Oh, this one here. This one, will it do, uh, I didn't even look. Oh yeah, so it'll do the herbicide and the, and the fertilizer. So yeah, it'd be cheaper to go with the, the cheaper cedar in this for the time being. Well, you know what? We can buy this now. We're going to have to get both anyways. And then we will go get another tree. Or probably another four or five trees. Let's just turn this off for now. We'll jump in the, the hoopty van. We will load up. forgot to even this part out let's go over here and get these logs put up on the, the van for now This is the second load um, after uh, we bought the uh, sprayer over there. This is the second load of trees I brought up. I believe this is uh, three trees or two trees. I don't remember three, I think. Oh, I know it's part, part of it's from the previous load. Uh, like I said, some of the trees were pretty big. So we got like 6,000, 60 some hundred dollars for that first load. And then um, we just got almost seven thousand for that one. So we can get the cedar, some seed, the sprayer, uh, I need to get a portable fuel tank, but I'll have to go look at mods. Um, I hope our tractor can hook up to this. Well, let's go ahead and get some, uh, I think a fertilizer over here with it. Uh, liquid fertilizer. Okay, so we got that. We'll just have to uh, pop off. Let's get the cedar. Um, where is it at? Thank God for trees on this one, huh? 
and enables you to uh, grow quite rap. Man, not, not really grow rapidly, but when you start from scratch, you're able to, you know, purchase. To purchase uh, equipment to be able to get going. Oh, this one, the tractor lifts up. So it doesn't actually tow behind it. Attaches straight to the tractor. Okay. Um, now let's get some seed. All right, well, oops, saving content. That's probably good. I don't want to have to go redo it. I don't know, since we have the trailer here, I wonder if the shop will load uh, some of this stuff in the trailer for me I'm sure they got to have a way to load it up in here somewhere so let me go ask them real quick go talk to old Susie all right guys so yeah, the shop was able to load that stuff up. And we just got back with everything. Um, but I don't know. I guess we can buy this the, the soil information this time. Um, if not, we're going to be here cutting trees for six days. To be able to uh, plant the seed with the information. I just don't know how much the information is I think you go here and then here so eighteen hundred dollars so be four grand number of samples seven service provider cost So how much would it be for oh that's for the whole property Air. okay yeah I'll buy that so we have loam and clay up there and of course yeah this is gonna be loam and sandy loam so But now when we plant, it'll know what to plant. Well, at least I, I'm thinking now that most of this is going to be loam here. So we might turn our field into, and we can buy these ones, but we're not doing it right now. We have no need to. Um, not till we plow. Because we can, we can buy the info, but until we plow, we won't know. Oh, they charge us for other stuff, too. Oops. Oh, so we have $814 left. All right, well, at least now, I'm thinking it's August, so let's... So we can plant canola. Yeah, maybe we should do canola because it would be uh or should we focus on getting some animals right away too? Uh
Because next month we can do wheat, barley, and canola. Problem with canola is we have to, it doesn't, you know, it uh, clearly you don't get as higher, high of a volume, but the price is higher. Um, oh, we can buy it for 1500 and <laughs> we can sell it for 573 well Yeah, I'd rather put wheat or barley in just in case we get some animals. So I guess we'll hold off on this. Or I can always make more fields. We can definitely extend this field. And now I'd rather uh, take all these trees out if that's all loam. We can damn near connect the other field to this. I mean, of course, we won't connect all of it, but. And then up top there, where the, the clay is, you know, we could potentially turn that into animals or something up there. You know, I'm not sure yet. We have a long way to go on this series. But, uh,. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some canola in. Um, I don't. I can always we can always make more fields to plant uh, wheat and stuff in next month we're pretty much done with this field we got a couple places that we have to touch up um, like right at the end down here and then over here to our left I think I'm gonna hold off on the other field till next month um, I'll just throw some wheat or barley in there probably wheat um, or did I already touch this up Oops. <laughs> I thought we had a section. Oh, maybe it's down here. Well, it didn't take very much seed at all, so. Let's get this raised. 
right. So we were successful in getting a field planted. Not too bad. Just pop this right here next to the fertilizer. And then we will go ahead and throw our first state of fertilization on it, or the only state of fertilization. I've never used this sprayer or even seen it. It was a mod I found. I'm sure somebody else has probably seen it, but I never noticed it before. It's not super big, but it'll definitely do the job. And then uh, another thing that we need to look at getting is a mower. You know, we got plenty of grass that we can mow. Um, I think maybe we'll start this one. And it's not burning through that much nitrogen, so that's good. Or fertilizer. We're rocking and rolling. I think I said this was a nine meter spread. I can't remember now. This definitely won't be our permanent sprayer, but early on it'll be just fine for what we need. And I'm actually considering um, saving the money to get um, carpentry so we can make money on the trees, you know, make more money on the trees. going to be taking down that many I mean because I know we're going to be taking trees down for quite a few episodes yet um, I will be doing some work in between episodes uh, clearing trees in areas where I want to possibly do fields or like I said animals or something I'm not very good at staying straight, am I? Should just be two more passes and we'll be done.
Oh, and I need to jump out and check if lime's required in this one and the other one. I don't think it's too late to put the lime on. I think this tanker full um, possibly would do both fields. I don't think the other field's much bigger than this one. It's just a different shape. It's not square. Or rectangular, sorry. Alright, let's fold this up for now. We'll jump out. Just make sure that lime is not required. Needs rolling. Oh yeah, pH is bad, so we do need to put lime on it. Darn it. I grabbed that one because I was thinking weeds. Um, I wasn't thinking lime. I'm sure the pH is going to be bad in this one, too. That's uh, okay, it says. It still takes some, though. Well. I... Just a little bit right there. I think these are areas I missed plowing. Guess we'll find out when it starts to grow. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to take some more trees down. So I think that's the first thing we'll do next episode is we'll get both fields limed. Um, because by the time I get trees down and let's find the uh, spreaders fertilizer spreaders right here you know we're gonna have to go with one of well, that one's too expensive that one does lime that one 70 horsepower um, that one doesn't have a horsepower I wonder why this one has a horsepower requirement and none of the other ones do. Yeah, we'll probably end up going with, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this one. Um, Well, you either get red, 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 or red. But we'll have to take the van and the trailer down, load up about probably, well, I think it'll only hold about maybe three bags at the most. So, of lime. So yeah, we'll go with that one for now to lime the fields. And then, um, yeah, bring back, might have to take a couple trips down in the van to get bags of lime. But. All right, guys, until next time, I'll, uh, like I said, be cutting down some trees. I might take all of these trees out right here. 
just clear the whole area and then we'll have to get a tree stump remover all right and maybe these ones too just get all these out of the way uh, i don't know how much we'll be doing up in here but you know we can always go at that later on and then we got trees down here too that we can take out but i'm not concerned with that yet because we do have room down here um if we take these little trees out you know we can come up to about right here and uh we need to make another field here and then we can also go across the road over to 37 and we can do a field down here somewhere well we're not there yet but let's go see how flat this hill is you know that actually might be a good place if it's flat enough on the top like right up in here might be a good place to put an, uh, an animal pen or something just kind of out of the way and then we can also do oh yeah there's plenty of room down here for a field this is all ours but i think mowing and bunker silo or something for silage is an avenue that we need to think about as well because we got plenty of grass we can do a field over here too that's pretty flat just got some trees in there um but a lot of these fields are going to start out small and they will definitely grow in the future um just based off the size of our equipment you know, we don't want to have a field so huge that that tiny harvester that we were looking at is going to take, you know, three episodes to harvest them. But, uh, and then we got to look at bail. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff we got to do. So we need another source of income, too. Uh, we can't just rely on trees. Eventually, we're going to run out. So, we need to think of possibly greenhouses, um, productions like, like the lumber mill making furniture. Because if we can cut these trees down, get them in there, you know, we're going to make double on the furniture that we would on the, let's just check that real quick. Even though I know this is only one. So 2009. That's right now. Last month was the best. At 2020. Or I'm sorry 2200. Um, if we just made planks. We're looking at 1500. And lumber. And that's just at the one cell point. If there's more cell points popping up. Um. Where's the wood? Right here. Yeah, so planks aren't that much better than just wood alone. But it's something to think about. And silage isn't even that great. Eggs are a, a good thing to do again. But, um,. All right, guys, like I said a few minutes ago before I got off on a tour of the property, um, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you uh, enjoy the episode, and I'll see you in the next one.